So one of the things I've been thinking about as I'm working on this project is I want to switch it up and put the one megahertz oscillator on the main board on the next revision. But at the same time, I don't want to give up my access to being able to slow down the clock for debugging. So I came up with this halfway in between concept. I'm going to take this chip and build my 555 timer circuit on the top. And this footprint is where the oscillator would sit. And I'm just going to put machine pins through so that this, when I need to, can drop into a full can circuit and give me access to the 555 timer. I'm hoping it works. Uh, this is the first prototype. But if it does work, uh, I'd be willing to part with them for basically nothing to see if other people want to play with them. So let's build it up. All right, so for this, we actually don't need that many parts. We need two 1K resistors, one 330 or 390. I use 390 for current limiting resistors for our three millimeter LED. We need our 555 timer, a one microfarad polarized capacitor, 2.01 microfarad or 103 ceramic capacitors, one potentiometer, I'm using one mega ohm, could use more or less depending on how much speed you need to adjust. We need four header pins to go through the bottom, and I'm going to always suggest using machine-tooled pins because they're going to be a whole lot easier to get in and out of sockets, and you're not putting this in as a permanent replacement. This is the socket in question that would be on the board, and I'm going to use that to help hold the pins straight when I go to attach them. They always say you should start with the shortest components first and work your way up, so I guess I'll just start with my 555 timer. So our 555 timer. I'm not going to socket this because, well, this is intended to go into another socket. Uh, the next shortest things will be resistors. And one thing that I hate when boards aren't labeled, so I went out of my way to make sure I labeled what every resistor was on this board. Well, a 390 resistor, or 330, depending on how bright you want your LED. Uh, it's totally optional. If you are not going to use the LED, you don't have to put the resistor there. I don't know why you wouldn't, and then some people would probably say, I don't know why you need the LED. I like to see the clock signal from de in debugging mode, so to me, saving, seeing the LED is important. But it won't affect the output of the chip at all if you don't connect the LED. Now this little flat potentiometer, they also you could also use these taller trim pots. So I want to redesign this even further, but that's just changing the uh, inch. So since I'm going to do that, I might as well use the tall one. And obviously anything coming out of the bottom of the board, we want to shorten up as much as absolutely possible so it doesn't interfere with anything else that might be in the board design. Next, we'll do our capacitors. Yes, this is a little overkill to put a 50 volt capacitor in here, but it's blue. I like the color scheme. It's not going to hurt it. And since this is just a regular 555 timer circuit, you could change all these capacitors and resistors to get timings you're looking for. I'm just trying to duplicate the one out of the Ben Eater clock circuit because it's done me well. That's what's built into the version 2 motherboard, is this exact circuit. All I did was cut the rest of the circuit out and make a new project in Eagle.
and then we'll put our LED in. And I notice now that I have this in my hands that I did not mark which side of the LED is negative. It goes towards the resistor. I know that because I designed this. So I will update the schematic for the next batch to include both the flat edge and the negative side. Just so that it's even easier. I like my design, my PCBs to be as idiot proof as possible. And I down this from a 5mm to a 3mm LED because I wanted to make this smaller. So if there was a reason that people would be interested in something like this, uh, I, I would go back and redesign this to all SMD parts and I could probably make this footprint half the size. Maybe like only 10% bigger than the actual can itself if I do it right. Because like a SMD 555 timer is small. All the resistors would be small. The capacitors would be small. And I could use like this flat pack trim pot. Even a surface mount LED would be pretty small. So just something to keep in mind if people get interested in that. So that's it. That's the smallest PCB I've ever designed. Granted, it's only the third PCB I've ever designed. For the four machine pins, obviously they're not next to each other, so we're going to have to separate them. So I like the machine pins because they're round, they go in and out of these better. The square pins are fine for breadboarding, but uh, I've damaged regular sockets. If they're not high quality sockets, they get pretty easily damaged. So where this is something you're going to put in and take out, I would say, you know, spend the extra 40 cents or whatever and get a strip of machine pins. Here for testing, I could just... There we go. Blinking lights. I love blinking lights. We turn that up. I turned it up too far. If I can touch it. But anyway, we have blinking lights, which means we have a working circuit. I won't actually get to test this any further than this until I build version 3 of the board, which won't happen until after I get the ACIA working. But we're getting close. And I'll work on version 3. There's some changes I need to make on top of what I've already noted, like I need to make space for the ZIF socket, but in general Version 3 is just going to be incorporating the 6551 and its logic select circuitry right into it. So, well, this was supposed to be a quick little video. Hopefully, it turns out that way when I edit it. And uh, if you want one of these, I'll post up on my blog and on my GitHub uh, what I did, what I have, what went into it, the parts list, and all that. And if you want one, uh, reach out to me on my blog, uh, realcheftom.com slash 6502. And we can uh, discuss how I get you one of these. I've got a whole bunch more, and they've got my logo on them. So I'll see you later.